Hi, Dr. Peter Lin. I want to speak with you just briefly about a condition called autoimmune thyroid. This is a, quite a common condition and most people have both hyperthyroid symptoms which are rapid heart rate, uh, inner trembling, tension like, like those kinds of things, and hypothyroid where sluggishness, mental fatigue, hair falling out, uh, just don't feel well, feel like you need a, a night's sleep all the time. So when we have people fill out a metabolic assessment form, we see people with autoimmune thyroid have both kinds of symptoms. Now laboratory work, we're looking at a TSH level, uh, but oftentimes when these people have a autoimmune thyroid, they're placed on medication that are supposed to be stimulating the TSH, uh, which is a common marker, but it's really not even a thyroid problem. It's an autoimmune problem. And so what we want to do is run thyroid globulin uh, lab panels and autoimmune panels. Um, we get into some deeper work and finding out what real kinds of antigens are stimulating this immune system. When we determine that it's an autoimmune problem, we want to massively change the diet. Um, one thing that you cannot do is iodine, and that has been a fallacy for years as people have been placed on iodine or iodine supplements, um, told to be eaten iodized salt and, and seafood such as kelp. But when you have an autoimmune thyroid, this really aggravates the autoimmune condition. So um, we want to massively look at the diet and no herbs or stimulants that are going to stimulate the, um, the autoimmune side of, this, of, of the panels. So like I said, diet is big changes, but we also want to modulate the immune system and get the immune system under control. So it's a different kind of thinking. It's, it's an autoimmune problem causing a thyroid problem. So the thyroid problem is secondary. So first of all, we want to find out what the antigen is causing the autoimmune process, modulate that, get the autoimmune system under control, make massive dietary changes, and get the person back under control again. Um, so when you fill out a metabolic assessment form, we can really see the differences in your autoimmune symptoms, and we can go on a course of care to first of all find out what the metabolic tests we're going to do, and then that will de detail the treatment that we'll be using uh, to change this autoimmune problem. So if you haven't received the autoimmune or the metabolic assessment form, call our office 503-581-6846, and we'll set that up for you. Thank you.